All right, let's flip it over. Since we're today's grandmaster is Ulman, we'll view it from his perspective. Pawn to e4, and we knew. We knew, as I mentioned. How many times did I say I had it written down? 372 times e4 was played against Ulman. Of those 372 times, Ulman played the French defense 363 times. Only seven times choosing g6, and the other two times I don't know what. Astonishing. D4. Murderous Spartan. D5. Knight F3. So we have another Venever advanced. And this time, Queen to G4. Is that going to be played there? Queen to c7, he invites. Queen takes g7. And queen takes g7 is played. Rook g8, queen h7, sacking the next pawn. I'll say this, you've got to have some intestinal fortitude play this kind of an opening. Now in this time, he captures on the center. Number one, there's no target to attack by playing pawn to c4. Number two, he's clearing a path for his queen. Knight to e2, and he's not in any hurries here. Knight B to C6. Pawn to F4. Bishop to D7. And soon the next pawn will also be sacrificed. <laughs> Amazingly enough. Oh no, he decided to get out of there. D captures C3, pawn to H4, here they come. Castles, pawn to H5. Knight to F5, pawn to H6. Rook to G6, pawn to H7. Just running up the board with that pawn. Rook to H8. Mm. Computator didn't care for that move, did it? That went to a negative 0.9, now a negative 1.4. What's the purpose of rook to h3? real clear on it. You know, with nowhere to put your bishop, I'd want to get rid of this pawn. Either queen takes or knight takes. Let's say queen takes. Real sure what the purpose of rook to h3 is. Well, that is what was played. Wow. No capturing the c pawn now, is there? No. 
not gonna happen. Look to B8. Bishop to E8. Queen to F3. Queen to D8. Pawn to G4. Knight to H4. Queen to H1. <laughs> Maybe he should have played Queen to G3. Stop that from happening. Oof. The evaluation bar inching ever in black's favor. After knight to g3, rook takes pawn on h7. Knight to e4 is played. Oh, tactics, tactics, tactics. Knight takes e5. I love this kind of move. This is the kind of move that Nathaniel Fast played against me today, isn't it? Captures. Just completely sacks the knight. And then pins the other knight with a super attack. This poor king is caught out in the open in the Emperor's new garments. Wow. Bishop jumps into the rescue. King to c7. Guess he decided he did not want any kind of discovered attack. With the king on c8, knight to d6 check would win the rook. What a move. King to f2. <laughs> rook to h5. Knight still can't move now, because it's not a check. Rook to f3. Queen to g8 piling up. Bishop to f4. <laughs> Knight takes f3, queen takes h5. Rook takes f4. Amazing game. Queen to h6. <laughs> oh boy. He could have taken it anyway, but... Knight to g5.
check discovery. And that's where White resigned. After the king moves out of check, he could take with check. I'm guessing bishop takes e4. Knight takes e4. go this guy's gonna be hanging only move <laughs> computer says this is mate in 31 look at that checkmate in 31 you can resign <laughs> oh my goodness yeah if if you play to the wrong square here, it's checkmate and one. Oh no, the, the queen's got it. But, um, I mean, playing here, I was just thinking if you play here, you're going to lose your rook. Of course, maybe he's got some plans of trying to find a perpetual. Mate in 31. So, I mean, well, no, because if he moves here, queen comes here, he has to come back. Let's look. King. Oh. That's not the move. That's mate and seven. <laughs> Only I can go from mate and 31 to mate and seven. I don't. If I could find the mate and seven, I would just, that's, I just wouldn't even find it. I would be looking for things like Give the check, and when the king moves out of the way, just take the the rook. You see that goes to mate and eight, so that's clearly not. Oh, back still on mate and seven, so that's clearly not the right continuation for black. Let me know if you throw in this check. I think if you play king b six, there's no more checks that can be played. And I don't know where you're going to go from here. Because eventually the king's going to be able to hide somewhere where you can't throw a check. And if you play something like this, there's check. And... That's no good. <laughs> you can get forked there or you can get discovered there. Either way. Or you can just leave it here and give check. Because that's going to force king to g4. And then I think we just give check here. <laughs> Forget the queen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> In fact, the queen stops the king from one more runaway square. <laughs> 